Okay, welcome back. Our first step to make our steady hand game is to do the backboard. Now what you'll do is you'll start off with a piece of material like that and the foreground, a piece of material like that and you will draw something on it. Now here's one that, um, that somebody didn't finish. It's got American Dad on it or something like that and they've done the drawings because I'm not going to spend the time doing the drawing. You can also cut the shape out. You don't have to have the plain rectangular shape if you don't want to. With the foreground, what this person's done is they've made a, looks like a skull or something anyway, and that's going to be stuck onto it there. Okay? So once you finish the drawing and the cutting out of the shape, what I want you to do is put the switch in. So if you come a little bit closer, this here is our switch. And it's a simple two-way switch, and we need to make a hole in the backboard for it. So what I want you to do is figure out where you're going to put it. I'm going to put the switch over here and just draw, hopefully you'll get a pencil that doesn't break, a 4mm by 10mm rectangle. I'll see if I can get a pen that's working. Okay. four millimeter by ten millimeter. I'm not going to measure it out. It only has to be pretty close. And then what we're going to do is we're going to drill two holes in here and file out that rectangle. What I also want you to do is drill a hole for your LED. So figure out where your LED is going to go, your light. The person here has actually got two LEDs and they've already drilled the holes here in the eyes and the LEDs can go in there. Now, you can do two LEDs, however, keep in mind that it is a bit more difficult to wire up. It's a lot easier to do just one LED, but if you want to do two LEDs, by all means, feel free to do that. So what I'm going to do now is do the hole for that switch. So come over to the drill. Put your safety glasses on. This is a 4mm drill piece, and I'm going to drill my two holes. one right next to it. That'll do. What I have to do is I have to turn that into a rectangular hole. Rectangular hole. A rectangle drill, hopefully that'll a rectangle file. May or may not work. So use these tiny little files if I wanted to. That should be enough. And if I get my switch, now if that was to fit into there, just check that I can click that back and forward, so that's okay. What I do then is I turn it over to the back. I need to mark out where these two holes are and get my pen for that. Just wait here for a moment. Here are the holes, guys, aren't I? Back here. Here we go. Turn it over there and just mark very carefully where your two screw holes go. Bit hard to see on the camera there, but there's a couple little marks just there and there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drill holes for the screw. Okay, so I want to drill these two holes now. I've got a one millimeter drill in there, or about a 1.5. Very small drill, so be careful. A bit too easy to break these ones. Just drill through there. And 
Now, I can fix that switch in place. So come over here and I'll put the two screws into it. The screws go through these holes. They're a bit tricky, a little bit fiddly to do. And there we go. So we've got our screws going through our holes that we drilled into the switch and we can flick our switch back and forth. If the screw holes don't line up, what you can do is file that rectangle hole a little bit bigger and that'll give you a bit more room to play around with. Also, don't forget to drill your two holes for your LED while you're on the drill. Thank you.